So I have a never again video for you. I was flipping through one of my holiday cookbooks and I ran across a recipe for an apple spice pound cake, okay? Sounded delicious. And I said that out loud, mm, this sounds good, I think I wanna make that. My husband, without even looking up, said, you know, my mama makes the best pound cakes. True statement, I could not argue with him. You don't mess with the originator, that is true. She makes the best pound cakes, I'm moving on. So I'm still flipping through this book and I came across a cobbler that I thought I could make. My husband, yet again, without even looking up, says, you know, my mama makes the best apple cobbler. Okay. Now, round about that second, third, the best, my mama makes the best, I began to feel my blood pressure go up. The back of my ears started to get hot because it dawned on me. My husband was in his own way trying to inform me that I am not a part of the Betty Carker ministry. So now I had some options. I could be hurt, I could be hurt, um, or I could get mad at him. But you know what? I didn't do either. You see, we've been married for 13 years, and I know how to be a good wife. A good wife is a helpmate. That is what a good wife is. And clearly, this mate needs some help. You see, he didn't mean to do anything. He was just confused. He was confused about his biblical events. You see, I was trying to make a cake for the holidays, for Christmas, you know, for baby Jesus. You know, that, that's why I was trying to make a cake. But clearly, he didn't realize it was Christmas. He thought it was the Last Supper. Yeah, because it's going to be the Last Supper that I make for him. How about that? How about that? The kitchen is now closed. All the pots, oh, they're dusty. Done. I'm not touching one of them. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? You're hungry? Hmm? You are? Oh, great. Well, how about you go across the yard to your mama's house and see what the best thing she's made for today? Because I ain't cooking nothing. How about that? Uh-huh. Huh? You got something to say? Hmm? Can I buy a vowel? Crickets. Never again.